petrol stations. Right, let's get on with this because we've been wandering around pet shops and eating lollies, haven't we? Which yeah, is both so nice things, but the day is getting on. And we're off a slower start than what we wanted to exactly because, because we're too busy looking at all the wee fluffsters in the pet shop. Exactly, and they're all up to their own little wee things. So that's nice to see, isn't it? So today we are in Bambra. Now, how to pronounce it? Because a lot of Americans pronounce this place and Edinburgh is Edinburgh. So did it Bambro, 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 Bambro and Edinburgh. Which I can see why you do that because if you look at it and you use the rules of English, you'd say, well, it says Edinburgh. Well, I was teaching a girl in Oban, an American girl in Oban, how to say Edinburgh. Where was she from? She was from Oregon. Oh, nice. That's up. Uh -huh. That's the top um, northwest. Uh, sorry, uh, north. West they North. were calling it Edinburgh, so I was saying it's called Edinburgh. Bra, bra. As yeah. in your bra. Your bra, exactly. Edinburgh. But I can completely understand why you would pronounce it that way, and I'm sure mm. we pronounce some American things, and the Americans say, "What the hell are you doing, you?" Yeah. Plonker. <laughs> but that's just a Scottish way of saying it, Edinburgh. Yeah. yeah. Edinburgh. And it's quicker Edinburgh. as well. You've got to say it's quick. And it's like a our... slight roll of your R's. Bra, bra. Edinburgh. It's like um, I was watching a video, and we call the sauce called Worcester sauce. Now it doesn't look like that on the label and this American was calling it Worcestershire. So she was putting all that effort in to pronounce all the letters there and I thought, unfortunately we just miss them all off and just call it Worcester. So save, save yeah, yourself a bit of time there. Yeah, just to get used to how you see things yeah, and how you exactly. read things. But anyway. So we're in Bambra. Bambra. Bambra, exactly. Now I want to tell you a story. So are you ready oh. for a story? How long? Well, as long as well as long as it's necessary to get the information over. Unfortunately, okay. <laughs> unless you, everyone else has the, the the luxury of pressing fast forward, but you're going to have to put up with it. Right. Okay. Because I want to tell you about someone called Grace Darling. Oh yeah, I've seen the museum. So exactly. Yeah, well, Grace so... Darling is famous in this area. So imagine this, right? 1838, mm -hmm. probably around. I think it was around September time, early morning. She is looking out of a window. Now, normally that wouldn't be an issue, but she lived in a lighthouse with her dad. Mm -hmm. So we've got the Farne Islands here. So where we are is the northeast of England. And you've got the North Sea on your right-hand side. A massive stretch of water which is very cold, uh, very deep cold water, and can be extremely treacherous, really, really bad. So we'll have lighthouses dotting the area to help ships navigate the, um, the, 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 the best passage into ports and things like that because of the rocks. Uh, now, because of that, she was living with her dad on, I think, the furthest away island called, off the top of my head, it's something like Longstone, because it's practically a piece of stone. So she's looking out of her bedroom window and says, oh, what's that? A paddle steamer. This, you know, and bear in mind, this is the 1800s, so you can't call it a helicopter or anything. It's smashed onto the rocks. Right, okay. And split in half. Bad, dun, bad dun, news. During dun, a bad, really, really, exactly, really, really bad storm. So she says to her dad, we're going to have to go and help. Because generally, you would, you would have life, lifeboats which would go out. But I think it was North Berwick or somewhere. And the, the, because of the weather, it ain't going to happen. So yeah, she, because it would be too clicky and mm -hmm. yeah, wild. Too, da uh, too dangerous. So her and her dad got in a rowing boat. A four-man wooden, wooden rowing boat, right? and carefully navigated the wrong way around the islands to keep away from the bad weather, yeah. and they did about a mile. Imagine rowing a massive four-man boat a mile. Her and her dad in horrific weather that had just nearly killed people, right? All the way around and rescued some of these people. A lot of them were dead, unfortunately. And because of her actions... Three cheers to Grace! Exactly, because Woo. of her actions, she, she was able to rescue nine people. And the weather was so bad that the lifeboat couldn't even get back to the lifeboat station for another three days. There so, you go. So she's a hero. And here's a bit of top tip trivia. Queen Elizabeth even sent her 50 quid for her trouble. Hey, but in those days, think of that in the 1800s, 50 quid. And she got marriage proposals from all over the place. Well, there's people saving people's lives all the time these days. And Queen Elizabeth... Well, it's, present, you could argue that it's, sending... yeah, but you could argue that it's either a full-time job or it's easier. But that was an act of she was only in her, in her early twenties. That was an act of heroism. I think she should be proud of that. But unfortunately, there's a sad end. Do you know okay. what? Do you know what she died of? Eventually, died of tuberculosis, which oh, is a horrible. Shame. You sort of end up coughing, yeah. and it's a nasty. That's thing, exactly. Isn't it? Luckily, in this country, we immunise against that. 
Yeah. So there you go. So I just wanted to let people know about the area. Yes, there's a castle here, but Grace Darling is well thought of Grace in this Darling's area. Grace Darling's a little darling. Exactly. Twenty in her twenties, rescuing all those people, Good and putting for you, their life Grace. on. Them. So we might even have a look at the. I know where our gravestone is. Right, okay. So I might have a look at that, I and mean, there's a little museum, so we'll have a look in there. So, northeast of England, we'll have a look at the castle and what have you. All sounds it's... very interesting. Aye, and you were quite impressed as we drove in. You said, what a lovely place. Yeah, beautiful, very clean looking, mm -hmm. lovely little buildings. The castle looks massive. We've not seen mm -hmm. it. I think I've been there when I was a young girl, but yes, you the said... castle, the drive down, you can see it because you're kind of high up driving down towards the castle, and mm -hmm. it's lovely. It's really, really really big but obviously yes. we're going to film it and video it so and then get you, to see. and you're pumped so, up you're pumped up for a lobster dinner yeah i'm wanting lobster today so we'll see if we can get a hold of that so right let's get on with it because i'm absolutely boiling i know it's warm again today <laughs> <laughs> right bye bye bye
Right, action. Right, we've made it back. Now I was, I don't know about you, but I was flagging at the end. Yeah, because we need our lobster. Oh yes, lobster. You can't whack a lobster. Right, come on, so we're going to get straight to the point. Firstly, what do you think of Grace Darling? Oh, she was a total heroine, so... Yeah, good lass. Yeah. Good Geordie lass. Right. Well done. And this area, I think it's beautiful. Serene. Uh, we cottages are lovely. It looks like a really nice place. Um, the, you know, the wee, the, what was it, the something kettle there? What was it called? Oh, um, copper kettle. Copper kettle. Yeah, that looked like a lovely wee place. I just took a picture of it there just now. Yeah. We've not had anything in the copper kettle, but it no, looked lovely. No. Um, we did get a wee cup of coffee in the, the grounds of yes. the castle. But, you know, it's been a really... Um, diverse day it's, mm -hmm. we've seen a lot with you know butterflies bees birds lots of wildlife uh, wild simple li wildlife mm -hmm. not wildebeests and things like that simple insects beautiful butterflies and simple things like that yeah it's been a really nice day mm -hmm. um you know the castle's absolutely amazing big, uh, very big very informative um ships planes engineering Everything. It's been great. I've, I've so enjoyed today. Bit of this really and a bit of that. Aye. So, right. So, let you know, the heat is rising in this car. Yeah. I'm boiling. So, I'm going to quickly give it a mark without, with a minimum of waffle. Even though it took me long enough to get to that point there. Right. So, I'm going to get it because lots of natural wildlife, brilliant sweeping views and vistas, a brilliant castle with lots of diverse stuff to look at. Nice area, nice people. Uh -huh. and just You do have to pay to go into the castle. Aye, unfortunately, but hey. No, I'm, I, it was very well worth it though. Yeah. So I would say, you know, that's where I'm not complaining in that one. That's yeah. that's it. It's excellent. Okay. Um, you know, the the people who work there are very informative very helpful, as well. Very right. helpful. They tell you a lot about the good old days. Um, and the not, bad old days. And the bad old days. That's yes. true. I don't know if I would want to live in those days. That that's brutal all I can and say. The dehumanizing. Weapons, yeah. Oh my goodness, and the torture and everything else. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I'm going to give it really quite a high eight and a half. Uh, that's probably our be, highest. Is it? And could be virgin on a nine. <whistles> Weather's great. Scenery's great. Uh, you know, nothing. What can no I fault? No bad points, exactly. Can't so, really fault in, well but... worth a visit, and the area itself is an area of sort of natural beauty, anyway. Yeah, but the only thing I would say, we didn't get a chance to walk down to the beach. No. But that's because I'm ready to eat some lobster. Aye, and if you don't get food, there is hell on. Yeah, which is fair hungry. enough. Get a bit hungry. But anyway. Which is fair enough because they say an army marches on its stomach and you're a bit like that, aren't you? Yeah. Which is absolutely. fair enough. Right, we're off. So eight, and what was it? Eight, eight and a half. Eight and a half, my God. So that's Virgin the... on nine. Wow. Yeah. Extremely good. Right. So, so lovely day. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic day. Really, really enjoyed Very it. Very educational so, and interesting. I'm going to be happy. Right, we're off because I'm absolutely sweating to death here. Right. Bye-bye. Double thumbs up. Double thumbs up. Aye, double thumbs up. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.